Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from ICM company. It is modded in 148 scale and copies E153, so it's World War II China Guomindang Air Force fighter and basically it completes the line of this aircraft in Chinese versions because as you remember before we had the big scale then there was a small scale and now we have a popular 148 scale so this is a commercial sample so it means you get exactly the same stuff if you order it from any good model shop Model MX should have them available already and today we are going to open it and check what is hidden inside so first of all here you can see comparison with my hand it's not that big box I would say then on this side we have some information about the kit so there are 106 parts and assembled model will have a wingspan of 208 millimeters here we have also short history note in english and address of the manufacturer as well as a barcode and then on the other side we have the marking option it's basically the same as what we can see here on the box art so let's open it. The box structure, I would say it's typical for this brand. So we have this cover printed thin cover and then we have sturdy white cardboard box. Let's open it and here is what we have inside. So all plastic sprues are packed into the same plastic bag and then we have assembly manual on the bottom. So let's move them. We are going to start from the plastic parts. Just give me a second to open it. It's a resealable plastic bag, so it should be relatively easy to reuse it if you would like to uh, store some parts there. And here we have all plastic sprues. We are going to start from the biggest ones. So here it is. And as you can see, manufacturer placed here wing parts. Also we have cooling parts, engine parts and also some minor elements for example here we have cockpit walls molding quality looks quite fine so we can even zoom in so that you can see all those parts in detail here they are and for this model i would say it's really nice to have um, more or less detailed engine out of the box so here by the way you can see landing gear wheels which are molded as one piece parts and here you can see engine parts and also tail went in gear and again cockpit wall here from the other side you can see that each wing is molded as one piece part let's not forget that this is a pipeline so that's why we have two wings and those wings are molded as one piece parts so it means you won't have to deal with separate house and that's a definitely uh, advantage in assembly which should speed up the process and make it easier for those who hate working with separate wing house next we have um, external armament as you can see it is placed on the separate plastic sprue here we have mainly bombs and they are given in several types as you can see there are also pylons for those bombs and of course you will have to glue those two halves but as you can see tail section they serve as a guiding element or position element so it should be relatively easy to uh, place them in the right spot and have the right fitment out of the box I, I think you won't have any issue with this Next we have special parts for Chinese version because as you remember uh, Chinese aircraft had different cooling types so here it is and I mean here is nothing to comment as you can see two attachment points on the frontal section of the uh, cooling and here you can see it from the other side of course we have guiding elements so it should be uh, more or less easy to install this part on the model okay next we have uh, first plastic sprue with fuselage parts and here I would like to zoom in even more so that you can see those parts in detail. First of all I will remind you that cooling part is molded separately. Here we have the tail section molded together with fuselage half and note that rudder is also in place. Next we have various external elements and even exhaust stacks are here and if we flip it over we can see that there are guiding elements in the fuselage and the tail section will also help you with the right position of the fuselage half. So it means the other, the right fuselage half, it doesn't have the tail section pre-molded and you will have to slot it into this recess section. Uh, some will be happy to see such power division, some will be um, not that pleased, I know such models, but it repeats the 
let's say natural uh, panel lines so that's why it should be more or less seamless assembly and next we have last gray plastic sprue so here it is as i say it doesn't have the tail segment and it also doesn't have the frontal section of the cooling here um, we have landing gear ports and if we flip it over here we can see that inside there is not that many uh, features but you can upgrade it with aftermarket PE from Edward as far as I remember they released the upgrade kit or zoom kit out of the footage part so you can get it and install it into this model next we have another plastic bag this one as usual is dedicated to clear plastic parts and in the meantime let me remind you that you can support us financially it is quite simple because it's done via paypal and you just press the donate button on our website and choose the amount you would like to donate us um, as you saw we buy some kits on your donations in order to do the review so you basically uh, help decide which kit to review the next and of course some of this money will be used for new photo and video equipment so here you can see the canopy frontal section because there is no main section now uh, molding quality looks really good but there are no masks included so you have to cut them with your own hands and again i think edward produces aftermarket upgrade mask set so you can get it and avoid spending time trying to cut those uh, really tiny mask sections for this aircraft next on the bottom of the box we had the assembly manual so here it is let's zoom out now you should be able to see it so first of all it's a typical ACM brochure we have uh, short history note in Russian and English technical specifications safety advices uh, chorus chart and also the legend of the science used in this manual next we have parts map and as you remember this cooling and engine parts they won't be used because uh, we will build Chinese version not the Soviet version and here inside as usual we have also decal sheet so as you can see we have several symbols we also have dials for the instrument panel and more or less printing quality looks good I hope it will be easy to apply those decals and we will see the mark and profiles in the end because as usual they are printed on the last pages of this manual so let's flip over this page everything starts with cockpit obviously so here we assemble the cage uh, which is then upgraded with pilot seat and then you install it all together on the cockpit floor and then you join it with a lower wing so as you can see wing will be actually supporting the uh, cockpit and then it will be covered with fuselage halves so as you can see here we join fuselage halves before installing on the um, on the cockpit so it's quite an interesting parts division some modelers will be happy to see it because it might make assembly easier but of course be careful with all this stuff because as you can see here you might have seams even though those um, panel lines repeat the real lines on the aircraft next we continue with installation of the top wing here you have to add the wing struts then we work on the propeller we assemble the engine and don't forget to use the right cooling part because uh, i saw some others actually using the soviet version of the cooling on the big scale model and it was quite funny because no one noticed this uh, next we continue with cooling panels and as you can see manufacturer does not show that uh, there is a possibility to open those cooling panels but it will be up to you if you would like to expose the engine here we also install the canopy then we continue with landing gear ox and also landing gear doors here you continue with bombs as you can see we are given choice between two types of the bombs next we continue with rigging because this aircraft featured rigging so you won't be able to avoid it and here as I said before we have two marking options two first marking options both come from 1940 and here we have another two again 1940 and 1941 um, this might look like a simple version I would say but still they might be interesting to choose in 148 scale so it will be up to you which one you will choose definitely it is nice to see four marking options instead of um, maybe just two as in some other kits from different manufacturers so 
That's all for this video review, as I said, this kit is already available in Modelimix. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.